beauties. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I am going to go ahead and talk to you guys and do a review about the new Pure Cosmetics um, Hydrofluid Water Serum Foundation. Boy, is that a long thing to say, but um, it's their new foundation that just came out. I believe it came out around the 18th of January uh, on their site on Pure Cosmetics. And then later on, like around February 7th, it came out in Alta and then at Kohl's. So it is pretty much out everywhere as far as I know now, um, wherever Pure Cosmetics is sold. Um, but those are the three places, definitely Kohl's, Alta, and Pure Cosmetics itself um, that you can find this product here. And um, they did send it to me for review purposes and I'm I was super excited because they sent me several different shades to work with and there's two of them that I've been working with basically um, it is what I'm wearing right now and as you can see um, this is a foundation that gives you a nice dewy luminous glowy look that you know I am all about. I love that kind of a finish for a foundation now. So on here I can read you um, the why it's different. It says that at the heart of this innovation is Pure's encapsulated water complex. It delivers Swiss Alps sourced glacier water deep into the skin for optional hydration. Uh, the result is a lasting radiant smoother skin tone and silky luminous finish. So it's good for you and good for all, formulated for all skin tones. The buildable, blendable mineral pigments morph into the skin, giving all complexions a, a gorgeously glowing look, which, like I said, what you're seeing like uh, is from the foundation, the glowy, glowy look. It does come in five, five shades, which is light, medium, tan, dark, and deep. So you've got five different shades. It ranges around $39 and it is a one ounce bottle, uh, tube, I guess not bottle. I want to say tube, which this is it right here. I did use this on a previous video as well. Um, I was doing a get ready with me. I'll put the link down below to the get ready with me that I used this on as well. Uh, this one's the light shade. I've been working between light and medium. Those are the two shades I've been working with. So um, the key ingredients in this says that it's encapsulated with the water complex and uh, the serotonin complex and then vitamin E. It, it says here that it delivers the purest water source from the Swiss Alps to give you that hydration is one of the items in here uh, for a long lasting hydration it has. And it helps smooth, firm, and lift the skin's appearance. And then it helps soothe skin and provides antioxidant benefits is uh, the benefits that it has here. So it says you can apply two to three drops of foundation to the face with a liquid chisel brush, buff into skin in a circular motion, and then layer for additional coverage. The two to three drops I didn't do. Um, I just did my basic, like you'll see, I'll put up the video of me applying it. Um, I will share that here in a bit. And I did put several different drops on. Um, they do have a chisel brush, like a foundation chisel brush or whatever. I have had that before. Um, they had sent me, I think they, I think it did come with a kit that they had sent me before, um, like where you can try some of the products, like they'll give you a little small four in one and a bronzer. Um, I didn't like the chisel brush in that kit. I don't know if, if if it was just that one or if they have another one. It felt too rough to me and the um, the hairs were falling out. So I didn't use that. What I did end up using was my IT Cosmetics uh, flat top kabuki brush. I did use that to buff in the foundation. I have used, um, in my Get Ready With Me, you'll probably see, I used the beauty sponge, and then I did do my fingers. I tried it all three different ways that, you know, uh, of items that I had to work with just to see which way was the best way for me. Um, 
they all seemed pretty fine. I didn't have no problem with any of them, like, you know, looking smearing or or anything. They all seem to work pretty good. I feel like I can go ahead and tell you a good review with this foundation because I have been using it for a couple weeks now and playing around with it. Um, so the first thing is I would definitely say this foundation is not for somebody that has oily skin um, due to the fact it is more of a luminous foundation. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, if you're somebody with oily skin, you're obviously going to want something that's semi matte to matte kind of a finish, unless you do like a, a dewy, this kind of a foundation. Um, also I would say this foundation is more prone to somebody that has combination to dry skin and definitely like, you know, somebody with maturing skin, um, somebody that's looking for the hydration any of that kind of stuff, you're going to love this foundation. I personally am already going to just say right off the bat, I give it a thumbs up. I really love this foundation and what, what it is for me with this foundation, what made me love it and pretty much enjoy using it is the fact that yes, it gives me what I like because I do like these kind of foundations or it does give me more of a youthful look. Um, it does give me that luminous, you know, glowing look, but it also looks, you know, like it looks natural. It looks like my skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing foundation. Foundations over the years have improved though. And the great thing about the foundations now that they're doing is not only are you getting your coverage that you want and you know, that you you have the foundation, but you're also getting the benefit of the skincare as well so you're getting the two-in-one benefit so while you're wearing your foundation it's also you know like good for you to wear it's okay to wear it's it's like doing something for your skin and keeping it hydrated it's doing great skincare benefits so i'm really liking that with a lot of these foundations um it is um you'll see in the video that i will share here of me applying it you will see it is of um serum looking texture uh, of a foundation. It's not um, thick or it, it is more of a runny foundation. But when you think about a serum, you know, and you're putting a couple drops of serum on your hand, you know, it runs down your, it, it's, it's, it's just, you know, like how a serum would be. That being said, um, the one thing I kind of think uh, that maybe um, if they could have maybe one for fair skin, because um, while this does work for me, the light uh, shade, because that is what I have on, I do like it. Um, you know, it, there could be some people out there that might need the fair shade. So the wearability of the foundation itself, um, it pretty much stayed on and, and, you know, like throughout the day, I didn't have no problems as, um, with any of my makeup, like melting off. The only thing is I had to touch up a couple of times throughout the day, um, because it did kind of like around the nose and in the, in those areas, it kind of did get a little more 
more shiny and just, you know, like kind of a little more oily. Um, for me, that's not a deal breaker because most any foundations that I've ever used, they all do that for me. Like I, I always have to touch up anyway. So it's not something that is a deal breaker for me. Um, to me, that's pretty pretty normal for most foundations anyway, where you have to touch up in your T-zone area. There might have been a few out there that I didn't have to do it at all. And those ones didn't work out for me because of my drying skin anyway. So, But the wearability, yeah, was great. I think I would say these are more yellow-based. You know, if you kind of want to have an idea, they seem more of the yellow-based uh, kind of foundation. I just like it looks natural. I mean, you know, yes, you're going to see some of my imperfections. The, cra the crazy thing is right now, I didn't put no primer, which you'll see in the video, my shocked look, because I'll be sitting there thinking, oh, snap, I forgot to put my primer on. So I did when I was getting ready to film this video, I already had my foundation on and everything. And I thought, oh my God, I did not put my primer on. I always put primer on, you know. So I was pleasantly surprised. It still blended on so nice and covered so nicely and everything. And um, yeah, it's 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 a really good foundation. I am, I'm really loving it. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was helpful. And let me know if you have tried the um, foundation or if you've been thinking about it or you've seen it or anything, let me know what you guys think. Or did you try anything from Pure Cosmetics? I'm curious because, um, like I said, they had sent me several different things. And so far what I have gotten from them that they sent me, I have, I have liked, I really haven't had problem quite yet with anything. Um, maybe just the primer and, and the brush, the brush and the primer, that chiseled brush and the primer were the only two things. So let me know what you guys think as well. So, all right, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And if you did like this video and it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And I want to say thank you. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming and joining me. Um, you can see a video each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. I think I see my kitty sneak by. Until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. I love y'all. Bye-bye.